Welcome to the new and improved Hartford Performs database. This tutorial will show you how to book your programs using the new database features. This is the new page that you will see once you go to the database's website. You will now have the option to browse your programs or if you've already saved some programs and you're coming back to it at a later date, you can click the ready to book. Let's choose the browse feature. You will then be brought to a familiar page, which used to be the first page upon entering the database. This is the program roster. As you can see here, we have a new feature, which is a favorite section. You'll now be able to click on the stars to build a favorite list. And then when you're ready to finalize your choices, you can click the ready to book. So let's favorite a few programs. As you can see, down on the right hand side, once I clicked on a star, a jumps to favorite box appears. Once clicking on the jumps to favorite box, it brings me back to the top of the screen where all of my selected programs are stored. Once you've chosen a number of programs that you are interested in, click on the ready to book tab. You will then be brought to the contact details page where you will be required to plug in some information about your school. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will select for middle school. As you can see, the site coordinator email address automatically populates in. And you'll be required to plug in your name and your email address your teacher role, so I will choose grade level teacher, and you will select the particular grade level. You'll then put in the total number of students enrolled in the grade level and the total number of classrooms. You will then continue to the next step. As you can see, you are brought back to the program roster page. This time, on your favorited programs, you will see the shopping cart icons appear. You will also see the shopping cart tab on the right. Click on the shopping cart tab. As you will see, there's contact details. Step two is programs. So the programs that you are interested in that are in your favorite section, you can go ahead and click on the icon so that they deposit into the shopping cart feature. As you can see, you see that the total dollar amount being spent on programs is $20 and you can see that the teacher's program budget was also $20. Click to the next step to go to the next step you will then be brought to the dates page this is another new feature which will allow the classroom teacher to plug in an actual date of when they would like for the artist to come to facilitate that particular program so for acting and puppetry i'm going to choose september 20th and I'll just change 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. And if I'd like, I can plug in another optional date. Um, it's not mandatory. One date is mandatory. Two dates is an option. And if there's any additional information that you would like to plug in regarding this date, you can plug it in the scheduling dates comment box. You will plug in a date for each program that you have selected. So you'll click next program. 
you'll plug in a date for this particular program. Let's go with December 7th. And let's do a nine o'clock performance. And we'll choose one more date. Let's go with September 27th at one o'clock. Once you have all of your dates scheduled, you'll click continue to the next step. This is the final page of the booking process. As you can see on this page, list the contact details, the programs that you have selected, the type of performance that it is, the dollar amount associated with each particular program, and the dates that you have selected for each of the programs. Once you have reviewed this page, click Submit Booking, and that completes the booking process.